Tether, the stablecoin, is supposed to be backed by high-quality assets. So why has it been facing a lot of volatility lately? More worryingly, why is it well below the dollar in value? This is a problem with the concept called indirect convertibility. Convertibility refers to how easily a currency or asset can be exchanged for something else. So a US dollar is highly convertible. You won't have any problems exchanging it for something. So is gold. On the other hand, a Cuban peso is less convertible and is effectively restricted to within its domestic borders. Indirect convertibility introduces an additional middle step. Let's say you have an asset that is pegged at $1. But instead of redeeming it for dollars, you redeem it for gold bars equal to $1. What is the problem with this? Suppose the market price of gold falls. Now you have to make your dollar worth more gold bars. Your peg price and the market value of gold are in conflict. To keep your peg, you have to give out more gold. Or if the price of gold doesn't return to its equilibrium value, you have to repeg and therefore the market will not consider your peg totally valid. This is the issue with Tether today. It might be adequately backed by high value assets, but the backing assets, even high value ones like gold, are highly volatile right now and Tether's peg needs to be watched closely while the market stabilizes. What do you think? Are stable coins a better option or only as good as any other crypto token? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the My Money Karma channel for more such updates from the wide world of finance.